My name is William Rodriguez, and today I will be talking to you about phobias. Phobia. First, we will watch this YouTube video. So, watch the watch the tree. Watch the tree. Watch the car. So, if you jumped when you saw that, if you jumped when you saw that, that is fear. Fear is much different from phobias. Uh, a phobia is an irrational fear of something and not just a fear. Like, I am afraid of spiders, but I do not have a phobia of spiders. The difference between a fear and a phobia is kind of like, in general terms, if I saw a spider, I would go, I wouldn't go near it, I would just be like, oh, spider. If someone with a phobia saw a spider, they would flip out and scream. And not just a real spider, they, if they saw a spider on a shirt, or a picture of a spider in a book, they would go out of their way to avoid it, because there's, because they have a phobia. Uh, there are three different types of phobias. There are specific phobias, social phobias, and agoraphobia. Um, Specific phobias, uh, there are a lot of different kinds, and I'll go over those in a little bit. Uh, social phobias are more of the fear of social things, such as speaking in front of people. Like, I don't know if this really counts as social phobia, but if I was presenting in class, then, that, and, and I freaked out and had a panic attack and couldn't do it, that would be a social phobia. And then there's agoraphobia, it's the fear of just public places, going into them, anything to do with them. People with agoraphobia usually don't leave their houses, and life's basically just miserable. Um, social phobia affects about 1 in 8 teens in America. Uh, 1 in 8 shy teens in America, teens that are shy. Uh, the likelihood of getting this disorder at some time in your life is about 12.1%. So, that, oh, uh, never mind, actually, about 1 in one in eight, one in ten teens in America have this disorder. Um, that means about 15 million people in the United States at any given time are living with social phobia. So that's 15 million people who have trouble with social situations of various any type. Uh, agoraphobia is approximately one in 84 or 1.18 percent of the population, or 3.2 million people in the United States have agoraphobia. Uh, people with agoraphobia have really bad panic attacks just thinking about a public situation. So if I just thought about going to the bathroom in a public in a public uh, restroom or going to going into town to buy something at a store and I freaked out, that would be agoraphobia. Um, there are several different kinds of specific phobia. There are, no, not Specific phobias. There are hundreds of different kinds of specific phobias, and they range from places to people to things to ideas. Um, they develop when people. You, if they usually develop when people have bad experiences, like when they're like if there was a like a, a like a spider landed on me and I freaked out about it and it was a big deal thrown about it, I might develop a phobia. Uh, at least tw about 12.5 percent of Americans have this disorder to at least one phobia. And here are some phobias. Adrophobia, fear of men. The fear, I put a picture of Chuck Norris here because he's a man, but the fear of Chuck Norris is actually called logic. Consecotaliophobia is the fear of chopsticks. And I think it would be very hard if you lived in China. Leukophobia is the fear of the color white. I didn't really need a picture because it's white. Ephibiophobia is the fear of teenagers. I don't know if teenagers can have it because then they'd be scared of themselves and that would be bad. Papyrophobia is the fear of paper. That's also not very good. 
Venustrophobia is the fear of beautiful women, like Jennifer Lawrence. I do not have this fear, and 